guys, it's Joel here, aka Galaxy, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a huge, huge, huge recent pickups video. I think this is the biggest recent pickups I've ever done. Mainly a lot from one brand, as you can see from the title of the video already. If you do like this video and this is your first video of mine, please don't forget to subscribe. That means so, so much to me. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell for notifications so that you know when I bring out a new video. And without further ado, let's get on with these pickups. All the links to every item can be found in the description box below, as always, and for what I'm wearing most of the time. Right, some things go in multiple colorways, so I'll just show you them both at the same time, but this, um, I've actually had it before, I don't know if I've shown it on the channel, I've had it in like a future pink colour, which I've probably put on my Instagram before. It is called the Big Hawk Hoodie, and it's basically like an oversized drop shoulder, massive hoodie. And I got it in a light grey colourway, which is really, really nice, and a pure black colourway. So I just really, really like them. I love the shape, they're really comfy. They're only £35 each, which is really, really affordable. That's one thing I love about weekday. Oh yeah, so this a lot of these items are from weekday. I'm actually working with weekday over on my Instagram, but it's nothing to do with my YouTube channel, so I just wanted to show you all the pieces that I've got. Yeah, I got them both in a size large, and I will show you what they both look like on now. <laughs> Now the next piece I actually wore in my last video, or a video before the last one, um, and it's called the Picta Hawk t-shirt. It's basically just like a printed kind of band tee from weekday. I've got this in a size large as well, and it's only £12, which is beautiful. It's just a really nice simple t-shirt with this kind of graphic print on it. Um, I love the colours as well. Really got a thing for blue at the moment. Don't know why. So yeah, I will show you what this looks like on. <laughs> Now someone a couple of videos ago said that um, clothes on hangers trigger them and there's about to be quite a few pieces on hangers so I'm really sorry if it triggers you but you're going to have to deal with it. Um, this next one is called the coffee shirt and it's basically just a plain black Revere collar shirt. It's actually gone into the sale now, it's only £23. Um, I for one kind of struggle to find plain things often. Recently I've been attracted to shirts, like especially short sleeve shirts with a kind of open collar. Um, they just look really really clean and nice, and especially tucked in with like a belt and a pair of shorts for summer. I just think it's a really cool option. I got this in a size large and I will show you what it looks like on. <laughs> This is a pretty out there for me. If you've watched my channel for a long time, you know that I don't really go into like crazy colours. Okay, I've had some oranges, yellows and stuff like that, but I've never had neon green before. I don't even know if these are showing up correctly on the camera because they're so bright. Uh, maybe just one at a time. This is called the Frank t-shirt. It's available in loads of different colours, but I saw it in this kind of like neon green and I just really, really liked it. Off-white last season had some neon pieces and neon green and it made me really like, like neon. And I think it's a really, really nice colour. I don't know if it suits my skin tone that well, I guess you guys will tell me in the comments after I've shown you on Buddy. Um, and also, there was something else in the same colourway, so I decided to go with that as well. And this is, this is, the name of this one is Joke. So we all have names and stuff, like Big Hawk or Frank or whatever. But this is called the Big Steve sweatshirt. So this is again in the same like neon colour, um, oversized sweatshirt. It has quite a nice thick ribbing here at the top on the collar um, and at the bottom as well. And it just, it's so comfy to actually wear. I know you can't really see it because it's really overexposed right now. Don't tell me that it's overexposed because I just told you it's overexposed. Um, but yeah, I got this in a size large as well. I will show you what the t-shirt looks like on first. And now I'll show you what Big Steve looks like on. Okay, next up, this was a bit out of my comfort zone as well, but I thought, why not? Because Weekday is so affordable, and actually I'd seen like a Balenciaga polo top and was considering getting it instead of the t-shirt. I'm glad I went with the t-shirt, but I thought I'd try a polo top from Weekday. It's only £14 in the sale, um, and it's kind of like a knitted polo top, but it's just really clean and again oversized. It's called Andy, I think. But yeah, just thinking about summer really, just because it's been so hot in London, it's like short sleeve, open shirts, like anything to cool down really, but still feel 
comfortable and confident in what you're wearing. Um, so I'll show you what this looks like on. Now next up, another accessory that I've been obsessed with. Um, I've actually been linking this to my belt as well, um, to the weekday belt that I've got already. And it is just a keychain. So it's just a chain, it's 12 pounds. I've never been a massive fan of chains before, but my mate Miko, when we're in um, sweet, when we're in Sweden, I oh know, when we're in Paris, he was gonna get two chains, put them together and like wear them round, um, some kind of like holster thing, which I thought was really, really sick. And then I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna try this on my jeans, and I actually really, really like it. I've had loads of direct messages on Instagram asking where this chain was from, so if you did want to know, it's weekday, and it's 12 pounds, which is really, really good. And I'll show you what it looks like on. Now, next up we have another accessory. Now, this is a massive bum bag, um, but it says shoulder bag on the website. It's 30 quid. Um, I actually thought it would be a lot smaller, and when I arrived, it's actually quite big. Um, I was going to take it to Lovebox with me last Friday, and then I read online that you could only take bags smaller than a size A4, and this is definitely bigger than A4, especially with stuff in it, like I put a hoodie in it and everything. Having said that, it can fit a lot of stuff in it. I just think it is quite large, so when you actually pop it on, and if it is full of stuff, it's just, it's just really big. I'll show you what it looks like on and you can tell me if you think it's too big or if you think it's just the right size. I obviously thought it was going to be like a little bum bag thing, but it's huge. It's bigger than my face. Um, so yeah, I will show you what it looks like on. And the next piece um, is a pair of shorts which I was really excited about. I mean, I've got some similar shorts already that are like black mesh, but these are just black mesh, kind of like basketball shorts um, from weekday and they're huge. Got some strings as well, but you can like tuck those inside or whatever. These are actually 25 pounds. I got them in a size medium and I wear like 32 waist and I really, really like them. So I'll show you what they look like on. Finally from weekday, I was thinking about British festivals because I'm going to Secret Garden Party this weekend, depending on when this video is up. This video might be up on the Thursday, it might be up on the Sunday. Um, but I'm going, yeah, I'm going to Secret Garden Party and British festivals are known for either being really, really sunny or really, really rainy with a lot of mud. So um, just in case, I thought I'd get this from weekday. It's called the Soon Raincoat and it's just a really, really lightweight, thin kind of raincoat. I don't really have any practical raincoats either. The only thing that I would consider being weatherproof is this silver jacket from Represent, which I did wear once when it was raining and um, it's not really the kind of casual attire that you would wear just... I was going to the cinema with my mates and I wore that silver jacket and think, what we're we gonna see? Oh, we saw Guardians of the Galaxy, and I looked like I was in the film because it was just like this bright silver jacket. Um, so yeah, now I have a more subtle option to go with for festivals. And this is actually, yeah, this is like 50 quid. Um, it reminds me of the raincoats from Rains. I don't know if you've seen Rains, but that's like a, but they're a lot thicker and heavier, whereas this is really lightweight and easy to carry, and I could pop it in that bum bag. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I got this in a large, and I'll show you what it looks like on. Last but not least, I don't know if you've seen my baby behind me. I ended up getting this from Matches Fashion because I told you about my pre-order, didn't I, with the Balenciaga t-shirt. That was in my drunk shopping video, which I hope you liked, by the way. Because I really, really enjoy drink, drunk shopping, but please drink responsibly if you are going to drink. This ended up getting cancelled off my order because the pre-order wasn't ready in time. So I saw it on Matches Fashion and I was like, this is going to sell out really, really quick. It's got a really, really nice fit where the kind of band comes up a little. When I show you the ombody, you can tell. Um, but yeah, just embroidered. It says om and it's got London, New York, Tokyo, Los Angeles and this kind of white line all the way around. Um, kind of massive sleeves, like drop shoulder. It's just really, really nice. And yeah, really, really happy with it. It's round, it's quite a pricey one. It's around 300 and something. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below um, so you can see. Let me know what you think of this one because I really, really like this one. And I will show you what it looks like on.
they were my recent pickups. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said at the start, if you did like it, please don't forget to subscribe. It means so much to me. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.